In today's video, I'm trying out my new crock pot that I bought for myself. Here we go. Okay, so today is an exciting day because I'm gonna try out my new crock pot. I got this for myself with my own money from Target. I actually scaled it back. I spent $30. It was one of the less expense, least expensive models. And the reason I did that, I have gone through three, two or three crock pots in the last few years because I get them and they work for a little while. And then like the last one that I just got rid of, I got a year ago. And within a year, it was burning everything to the point where last week I made Swedish meatballs, which are delicious. We love them so much. And like, I checked them at like three o'clock and they were fine. And then by five o'clock, they were little hard black balls of meat. So. So I wound up throwing the crock pot and the meatballs out all at once because I'm like, this is ridiculous. And fortunately right now I'm at home so I can kind of smell when things start to burn. But like, what if I was leaving for the office all day like I used to? So I, I was like, you know what? I keep having problems with the programmable ones. I don't know if that's what the issue is, but for the foreseeable future, at least for the next six months, someone will always be here at home and probably through like next June, really. Um, because of the pandemic. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just go back to basics. Let's buy one that's not programmable. We will be here to, cause so you just have, it just has like off, low, high and warm. And I will be here to change the dial if I need to, if things get too hot, but I'm just gonna give it a try. It was only $30. If I wind up hating it in a year, what's the big deal, you know? But I use my crock pot like once a week. So that's why I really need one that's not gonna burn my food. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the thing. Okay, so you can see the brand is, it's just crock pot and it says slow cooker, feed the whole crowd. It does say it has a one year warranty. Again, for $30, it probably wouldn't even be worth the money to like send it back or whatever the warranty entails. Okay, let's see which way is up. This way is up, pretty heavy, so let's just angle the camera down here so you can see. All right, so it is like my no frills. Actually, it looks very similar to the other one I had, which I think was also crock pot brand, but that one just had more settings and more bells and whistles, as my dad used to say. Okay. So, got instructions. Not really gonna worry too much about the instructions. I think these things are fairly self-explanatory. I will give this a nice washing before I use it the first time. So everything looks to be in order. It's not cracked at all. Okay. So I'm gonna move the camera and get this set up and wash out the crock and then we'll start our recipe. I'm making chicken tacos for tonight. Here's what it looks like all set up and washed and dried, a little lint from my rag. And you can see very basic, just off low, high and warm. And I like to cook my things on low so they can simmer the whole day. Unless I happen to be in a hurry, I just find that that has always worked better for me. So that's the setting that I'm hoping will not burn my food. So I'm gonna get my ingredients together and we will put together the chicken tacos. Okay, so I've got all my ingredients gathered. This is mostly from Aldi, this meal, except for my taco seasoning, which I already had. We buy that in bulk and onion powder. So I've got chicken thighs. I like to use chicken, th a recipe actually calls for um, chicken breasts, but I like to use chicken thighs because they are, you know, fattier and they don't dry out as much. So I need eight of these. So it's actually one package plus a little bit. So. Put my chicken thighs in first. One, two, three. All 
All right, so I have my chicken in. I decided to add one extra thigh because one of them was a little bit small. So I don't know. And then I'm going to add one can. I get the red gold. It calls for the tomatoes with chilies and that's what this has. I really like these. We use these in our chili, which we made last night and that was delicious. So I'm gonna use one can of this. Again, this is all from Aldi. And then one can, oh wow, oh, there we go, <laughs> of salsa. One jar, one jar of salsa. I got this one. And then my taco seasoning. And it's going to be one tablespoon of onion powder is equal to one medium onion. Woo, that was a lot. Oh, that's, okay. that's good. I also, I will link my recipe in the description box below. And what I'm realizing is I actually probably should have mixed up my stuff before I put it over my chicken, but that's okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna just blend it all in here right in the crock pot. Cooking is not an exact science. It is not. Baking is. Yes. Cooking is not. Baking is more scientific. And I just want to make sure, you know, I cover my chicken with the mixture. Okay. I'm going to put my lid on and I'm going to set it. Whoops. I'm going to, I'm not going to set it. I'm going to turn it on low and I'll set a timer for, let's see, it says, I think four to six hours. So I'll check it in four hours and we'll see how it's doing with the burn situation. Hopefully it won't burn my food and it is plugged in. P.S. You have to do that too. All right. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, one thing I'm noticing is that there is no indicator light. So there's nothing to even tell you that it's on. I can feel that it's on, but just that's something to think about. And I did want to add that I, sorry, the family is all awake now. This is why I film in the early morning because they're loud. <laughs> I wanted to add the reason I used onion powder, the recipe actually calls for a fresh onion. But when I was at Aldi last night, there were a lot of fruit flies all over the onions and I did not want to bring those home to my house. So I decided just to use onion powder. I will get fresh onion, you know, for the rest of the week, somewhere else where there's not buggy onions. So anyway, okay. So we're going to let this go four to six hours and see what we think. All right. We are four hours in. I know you're not supposed to take the lid off, but I'm going to just to check it. It does not look to be burning. This is a good thing. There's a little, you know, crustiness on the sides here. But other than that, like before it would be like all of this would be burnt and all the lick, lick would be would be evaporated because it would get so hot in my old crock pot. So this is looking good. I'm pleased. Um, these eventually I will pull the chicken thighs out and shred the meat and that's how we'll use it for tacos. But uh, let's see how I quite think there is. Well, they're pretty tender. I'm going to let them go a little while longer and then I will do that step. All right. We are at five hours, still not burning. That's good. And I am going to turn it to warm. Well, I already did. I turned it to warm because I need to go run and pick Hannah up from a um, friend's. Well, she's actually with her friends at the beach. So I'm going to run and pick her up and then I'll shred it and we'll get it ready for dinner when I get back. I was very pleased because nothing burned and even the bottom of the crock was not burned, which was great because the last one, it would be so caked on and black and really hard to clean and the food would get wrecked. The meat was super tender. I definitely love the way the chicken thighs turned out. They were not dried out at all and they stayed moist even you know once it had been sitting in this bowl shredded for a while it stayed moist that whole time because we ate in shifts on this night like because molly had been out working and so i kind of you know i just prepare the food and then people ate as they came in and so it stayed nice and moist and delicious Everyone's loving the chicken. The crock pot did a great job. I, th I think the, the key here was also that I used chicken thighs. This is Chris's plate. He did his like a taco salad with chips. 
and I am gonna do mine as nachos, but I also have soft tacos and rice if people wanna use the chicken on that. So we kind of make it flexible here on Taco Tuesday. Overall, I love the crock pot. I'm definitely keeping it. Do you have, what do you think, Chris? Do you like the food? Yeah, it's definitely not a crock. <laughs> we had to end it with a dad joke. All right, y'all, see you, see you in our next video.